Peace, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to the show. I'm going to do my best to get this show started. Somebody seem right, but we'll work with it. everyone how you doing how you doing welcome to the show the event it's going down this sunday the 5th 2024 so that'll be may the 5th 2024 and the topic is the true israel of god israel doctrine under the church of time of the israel of god now, I'm going to deal with some basic stuff tonight. Wish we had an audience to uh, participate, but if we don't have an audience to participate, we're not going to cry about it. Who's in agreement? Who's not in agreement? If you're not here, you can't agree or disagree. So, let's move on. So, I'm going to try to take y'all back to the beginning of Israel doctrine. This is something you can find. You've probably never seen it, but I'm making it visible for you tonight. Carl Albert is married to Israel doctrine. A dot K dot A, the word of God. It's an incredible time for us. Carl Albert Davis, president and CEO of Israel doctrine entertainment says, Israel Doctrine has been chosen to reveal the hidden legacy of Israelites through its television broadcast, online video, such as with YouTube, cell phones, and downloaded podcasts, which can be watched either on a computer or a portable media player. As a multi-platform payment entity, Israel Doctrine will be able to reclaim Israel as the rightful and legal executor of Israel Doctrine. When Davis, his company, he wants focus on the many dimensions of hip-hop culture hip-hop culture that is what israel doctrine llc is it's a entertainment company that deals with hip-hop culture so we'll move on now a little bit more we'll let the computer read he didn't want to on the negative aspect of culture that he felt were being exposed in the media. So he decided to tell the story of his people Israel. 
Now, Davis wholeheartedly embraces the reawakening of the unaware urban blacks nation to their true identity as Israelites. He also categorically rejects the doctrine that any group or individuals should be denied full citizenship in the nation of Israel, in the body of Christ, as adopted sons and daughters from every kindred, tribe, tongue, nation, and people, based upon race, color, gender, nation, or any other specified group characteristic. Israel Doctrine Entertainment is working on Define Israel, Our Legacy. So, that's not playing. I wrote this back when I started Israel Doctrine. It's always been my plan since I've been in social media. This is my thoughts and my plans. Many people didn't know them, but I'm finally getting it to you. So now, Going through the next stages. We're going to let the computer read the next stages. What is meant by Israel doctrine? A Israel doctrine, the teaching or instruction that the God of Israel gave to his choosing people, Israel. B. It refers to the content of what has been taught. C. Israel doctrine refers to the teachings of or what is taught by the protocol of the God of Israel. D. All scripture, Israel doctrine, is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So 2 as, Timothy 3, 16, minus 17. So as you can see, this is my writing because I wanted to say choosing, chosen people and not put choosing people because I am a man and I will make mistakes. The thing is, can I deal with my mistakes and speak up when I make them? And the aim of Israel Doctrine Entertainment is to proclaim the most neglected part of the doctrine, the part which calls upon the peoples of all nations to worship the Creator. Israel Doctrine, in short, is a call to faith and obedience particularly obedience to the repentance from dead works and the resurrection of the dead. Okay, now we're going to read the other part. Computer, do so. Why is Israel doctrine important? A, because it is important to the God of Israel. Here, a children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, Forsake ye not my law. Pro. 4. 1. Minus 2. B. Because it is important to the Holy One of Israel. Jesus answered them, and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. John 7. 16. 17. C. Because it is impotent to the Comforter, the ministering Spirit of God. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. John 14, 26. D. It is important to those who will overcome for spiritual stability and maturity, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. F. 414. So, as you can see, basic, simple foundation of Israel doctrine is being shown through the scriptures. The scriptures you find in the KJV Bible, 1611, which most people hate because it's such a sound book. Revelation 1, 1, minus 2. 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, too, who bear record of the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. 
God's protocol, order of things, God, the Father, gives the message to the Son, God, Jesus Christ, gives the message to the angel, angel, gives the message to the children of Israel, servant, the children of Israel, give the message to the rest of the sons of Adam, this is what the children of Israel are chosen to do. They are the people chosen to teach the rest of the sons of Adam the word of God. So, as you can see, it's clearly being laid out what Israel doctrine is and how it is dispensed and so on and so forth. People will say, I'm not educated enough to teach what I know or what I believe. But you can hear it right here in these texts. Who is it that inspired Israel doctrine value of it? A, the God of Israel dictated Israel doctrine. B, holy men of God as they were moved or impelled by the Holy Spirit. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. 2 Pet 1 21 See the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to shew unto his things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, Reverend 1 1. Where can Israel doctrine be founded in the 66 books of the Bible that was writing by those choosing Israelite to do so? The 39 books in the Old Testament, the prophets the 27 books in the New Testament, the Apostles. And you have to forgive, I keep putting chosen instead of chosen. But now we're going to get into more modern things, up to date what's going on right now. Because as you see in the beginning of the slideshow that I showed, we started with the true Israel of God. And the true Israel of God is under attack, people. So we're going to let the computer read and tell you more about that. The attack on the true Israel of God by Hebrew Israelites and former Hebrew Israelites. Yes, Hebrew Israelites, current Hebrew Israelites, and former Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew Israelites don't like Israelites. So therefore, they're attacking my platform. If I said I was a Hebrew Israelite, it wouldn't matter what I do or say. They all will say, Amen. The Israel of God, the mixed multitude, the church is under attack. This is my introduction to how Israel Doctrine Entertainment LLC and my recently expanded online ministries as the true Israel of God short for the Israel of God, the next multitude, the church has been under attack by Hebrew Israelites, federal informants, and former Hebrew Israelites. It is important for those who view this to be the knowledge of who the culprits are from the current to the former. I want you all to know how it has been the group of those identifying under the term Hebrew Israelite, federal confidential human sources, and former Hebrew Israelites that have systematically attempted to tear down those people like myself who claim to be Israelite and of the Christian faith. Oh, so forgive me, people. Ooh, I'm normal with being bad, so you might hear me yawning. But as you see, it said, the true Israel of God, the mixed multitude, the church is under attack. Maybe y'all know this. Maybe y'all don't know this. I don't see why no Christian or biblical institution should be under attack from anyone. Unless they're doing something they don't have no business doing and teaching something they don't have no business teaching. And you will never find that with me. As I just showed you, I teach Israel doctrine, the sound word of God from Genesis to Revelation out of the KJV. But I'm being attacked. Why? We'll get into that a little bit more. So, federal informants and former Hebrew Israelites and modern day Hebrew Israelites, they attack me. And they do it for Layla Wills, Troy Star Terrain, and her son, Cam. But 
to deal with that a little bit. It will come up. Maybe the next sentence is a tick. We begin with the recent attacks of Khalil Amani, formerly Khalil Ashanti, also known as Lloyd Rodney Clark, to discredit the validity of the Genesis account of Eve being the mother of all those living at the time her son Cain fathered his children in the biblical account. Khalil Amani, a former member of the Miami-based Hebrew Israelite cult and who was under the leadership of Yehe Ben Yehe, has been dispatched to attack God's church. So, Khalil Amani, a former Yahweh, being Yahweh, Hebrew Israelite, wants to do harm to me like Yahweh being Yahweh did to those that came against him. You'll hear him in interviews saying we did this and we did that because he don't run from the fact he said he was a head dude in the coat and they did things. Under his orders, uh, under his guidance and stuff, he don't run from it. And he does that to try to scare people like me into doing what he say. So listen to the fathering sentences. For a period beginning roughly around late 2018 to 2024, Khalil Amani has made numerous attempts to discredit spread misinformation and information against me elder Carl Albert Davis of the true Israel of God, my Israel Doctrine Entertainment LLC, and many of my online supporters. Many of my online supporters, like this one brother known as Black. He's a music producer down in Atlanta. Khalil Amani attacked him because he was around me talking to me and they were supporting me and stuff. I don't even talk to the brother no more. Still got love for him, but he allowed Khalil the money to run him off. But it is what it is. We're going to keep moving. We got a couple more slides. If no one makes it to ask questions, we're going to let it do what it do then. The attacks by this known former Hebrew Israelite and also federal witness against his former cult leader range from slander involving previous legal battles I had with Chicago journalist Layla Wills to claims that I am not qualified to minister as of the true Israel of God. Lamani bases his of my lack of ability or qualification to lead due to his belief that I am disqualified because I lack a formal college education. Khalil Amani is not the only individual who has used slander and lies against the ministry I founded as he has also allied with various forces and content creators online over the years to attack me and the church. Many who are also what I believe to be either federal witness protection recipients or who have federal government affiliations to execute these attacks have joined in with Khalil Amani in his online slander campaigns. Now, as some of y'all may have no couple years back before I ever had a stroke because I didn't have a stroke I did a lecture on stalking and profiling and stuff meaning I knew of these things before these things started happening to me from the fact that more people are learning that I know what I am and who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about is happening more frequently but I believe these stories are in my writings. We'll get to them. My belief is that a counterintelligence operation is being performed by various online personalities and social influencers in order to circumvent justice against those who are falsely labeled as black or African American. I also believe that in order to cover up crimes for the universal Zulu nation, individuals like Khalil Amani, Lels, Troy Star Torrain and others have been attacking the church God ordained me to create. I myself claim to be of the pedigree of the nation of Israel and not to be confused with the term Hebrew Israelite or Black Hebrew Israelite. 
I have for many years promoted the doctrine of the nation of Israel, and that I as an Israelite have the understanding that God in the King James Version of biblical text transformed a people known at the time of the Exodus as Hebrews and those of many other national origins into a new creation as the nation of Israel. Hey, this, this is my belief. If I believe it, then I'm going to speak it and I'm going to put it out there and it's a record of it. And now that it's a record of it, I'm still going to get slandered that I'm not an Israelite. I'm not a Christian. I'm a Hebrew Israelite and I'm this, that, and everything else. Falsely stated to be all of those things because I don't, I never, I never stated that. Kalolamani one who in his past claims to have been the victim of a cult calling themselves Hebrew Israelite was never given the foreknowledge of the term Hebrew Israelite or Black Hebrew Israelite being a misnomer until he came into contact with my platform on YouTube. Khalil Amani was stupid, ignorant of these things, and not by the reason that he was just that, but by the reason that uninformed him. He left that coat, on that coat, and still was uninformed. So let's go to the next slide. Kalolamani once admitted and agreed via his online that I was correct to properly term the people of God as referenced in the KJV 1611 as Israelites, but since has countered the online community's intelligence by labeling me and my church and supporters the by-worded misnomer of Hebrew Israelite. I believe that Khalil Amani mislabels me and attempts to profile my ministry to have people confused on the doctrines I teach from the Word of God. I believe certain federal agencies have been active in monitoring our back and forth online as Khalil Amani has stalked my platform ever since I called the Federal Bureau of Investigation to report crimes committed by YouTube content creator Hassan Campbell back in 2018. So you can see he has some motivation for what he's doing. Because I openly made a call to the federal Bureau of Investigations. Troy Star Terrain came and flagged it, got it taken down and stuff because it was based on the fact that Troy Star Terrain got on the internet playing with the identity of that young boy that's been missing for 11 years now. Some very serious stuff has been going on, people. I'm just trying to inform you now. Kalolamani for his federal handlers on viewers online have attacked the church I founded with the intent to label me and my followers black identity extremist. The term black identity extremist was introduced by the Federal Bureau of Investigation some years back as a means to profile certain religious groups including those who identify themselves under terms like Hebrew Israelite or black Hebrew Israelite as domestic terrorists. Yes, they're trying to make me a domestic terrorist. So the domestic domestic terrorist groups, uh, organizations come, can come snatch me up. Don't tell my family members that they came to park in Arkansas, snatched me up and ran off with me. See, y'all got to know that they treat domestic terrorists a certain way. I may be a terror, but I'm not a domestic terrorist. I don't have no problems against the government and stuff. Waiting on the Lord God of Israel to return with all those that. I who has been a law-abiding citizen has never been one to preach, teach hate against any other race or nationality akin to what many Hebrew Israelite or black Hebrew Israelite congregations promote. I, in fact, differ from those Hebrew Israelites and black Hebrew Israelites that preach hate for other races and nationalities and, in fact, promote that the God of Israel referenced in the Bible transformed not only Hebrews who escaped the captivity of ancient Egypt, but that during that time he also freed many other nationalities, including some of Egyptian pedigree, and they all were baptized under the cloud in the Red Sea under Moses and became the children of Israel. Not the children of Jacob, but the children of Israel. 
And if you don't know who Israel is, another show, another time. Khalil Amani has stalked and profiled me and the true Israel of God paracotting many of my biblical topics using secular scholarship to discredit that I am an individual with a church that teaches that the King James Bible is the best tool for the liberation of not only individual who identify as black but for people of all national origins if they sojourn with the nation of Israel. Khalil Amani, who is a college graduate, uses remedial attacks quoting modern and secular scholarship with the attempt to debunk the scriptures as it is written. As it is written. He don't like the KJV as it is written. He go get all them other books and scholars and different people that I easily shut them down with just the KJV alone. What Khalil Imani fails to realize in his attempts is that scholarship as defined in the conscious community involves citing one's sources. Though he does at times cite certain sources, I have factually debunked his sources as being secondary to the primary 1611 King James Version. To clarify my claims that Khalil Imani uses secular knowledge to counter the viewer's intelligence, Every source he cites outside of the King James Bible is post-1611. If one were to challenge Khalil Amai to source up and investigate where he draws his conclusions on many biblical topics, one is going to find that he cites sources, many of that were compiled by scholars in the 1900s. It's not capable of doing it, people. Y'all should go to Khalil Amani's world or Khalil Pork Bellies and tell them, you want it with Israel doctrine? Go get it. He's afraid of me as he is afraid of snakes, bees, and other things. The claim I am making is that the sources he believes to have for knowledge in fact are secular as he can cite no source or provide any copy written material that is before the canonization of the 1611 KJV. Any source that Khalil Amani uses, even those that makes claims of the canonization period, are all post the year 1611, making those pieces of literature secondary to the primary source that those sources provide commentary on. I must also state that when one studies the Bible in the presence of God's Holy Spirit, they are informed that the nation of Israel and those who are properly born into or baptized into the nation are the only ones qualified to properly interpret the text as it written. Khalil Amani, who has never claimed to be Israel, truly attempts to be a spiritual advisor to the LBGTQIA plus community about what the Bible, which I term as Israel doctrine, is relaying to the audience. So he's misleading and misguiding a bunch of people. Messing with me, I can say that. And I will be justified in saying that. And he's misguiding justified in his pursuit of me lying on me Khalil Amani has failed to acknowledge God's protocol as it is written from the father to the son from the son to the holy angel from the angel to Israel and from Israel to the rest of the world that simple yet simple protocol disqualifies all those who attempt to interpolate scripture and who do not claim to be Israel while in the presence of the Holy Spirit or one who claims the nation of Israel Khalil Amani's attacks on the true Israel of God are in my belief associated with a movement pushed by my ministry to find the whereabouts of an alleged 2013 victim of sexual misconduct against a minor at the hands of Africa Bambata of the Universal Zulu Nation. So, because of that, I created the church, which is a nation, the nation of Israel. And because I created the church, they already hated me or Israel doctrine, which is my alias. So when I created the church, I started attacking the church foolishly. As a result of my online movement form to find what was reported to be an underage Spanish or Latino boy who was subjected to a date rape by Africa Bambata and as a result stabbed Bambata and his manager Ahmed Henderson back in 2013, Khalil Amani has been attacking God's church. 
The attacks by Khalil Imani also stem from my informing the online community of YouTube content creator Hassan Campbell and his potential involvement as a conspirator with Africa Bambata to harm the 2013 statutory date rape victim who stabbed Bambata and his manager Ahmed Henderson. Once again, that was the feds that I called and alerted and told them this. They said it was a crime and stuff. So these people have been covering up a crime and committing crimes against me ever since I started speaking on these things. I know most of y'all don't care because you don't have the love of God and you don't love your neighbor. If I was a Hebrew Israelite neighbor, maybe then I would have some people trying to show me some love, but because I'm an Israelite Christian, I'm getting persecuted by the online community. It takes a nation of millions to hold me back. Many claiming the misnomer and by word Hebrew Israelite has allied with Khalil Amani in his attacks against the church. Many of those who ally with Khalil Amani in my belief are either tied to the federal government or has received payments from Khalil and others to join into the attacks against the true Israel of God. I also believe these attacks are associated separately with my church's rejection of the term Hebrew Israelite or Black Hebrew Israelite and with the soul which to taint the teachings of the KJV. My ministry has been attacked by other Hebrew Israelite groups for my teachings and include known individuals over the years. A few names include the Mighty Hebrew, Paradigm Shift TV, and even offshoot groups to my former congregation, the Israel of God in Chicago, Illinois. Former congregation, the Israel of God. That's why my congregation is called the True Israel of God because I believe they're fake, phony, and falsely identifying themselves. I they call the Elder Henry Bowie to speak about it. I knew the day would come that when I against it, it was going to cause a big problem. But he didn't want to fix it or talk about it. I manage. Years before I was introduced to Khalil Amani's writings as the man who wrote the article alleging Africa Bambata was gay and date raped the underage Spanish boy, I had run-ins with known confidential human sources attacking the ministry. It began back in the days when I was on blog talk radio with a show I created called The Huddle. As I began to gain notoriety on blog talk, I came into contact with many individuals who would grow to be social influencers online, people like Ank of the All Men Raw Squad, Sonetter TV, Nazi, Michael Edwards RBG Hebrew and Digital Pit Boss to name a few. My interactions with those claiming to identify with the I word Hebrew Israelite would attack my faith-based ministry for my argument that the people of God were properly termed a singular Israel and not black Hebrew Israelite or Hebrew Israelite. Mm. Yes, I've been attacked ever since blog talk radio. Soon I start messing with that conscious community. They tried to cut my economics. As I interacted with various individuals, I grew and was challenged to have a debate with a woman known as Dr. Mott of the All Men Ra Squad. The debate on if the God of the Bible was an enemy or a friend to the black community was held in Atlanta, Georgia at Nassai's church. I would later find out that Dr. Mott was formally known prior to her graduating with a doctorate as an informant who became the witness for an alleged credit card fraud operation. Yes, I've been dealing with government informants. Unknown to me, I tried to help young Pharaoh and stuff with Dr. My Yacht, who is a government informant. Maybe some of the reason they don't mind tell so bad. But I got love for people, so I try to help people. No one tries to help me. My days on Blog Talk would soon extend onto the YouTube platform at which I found various affiliates of the All Men Ra Squad to be anti Israel doctrine. My problems with the Amen Ra Squad extended to Sonnetter TV as a result of Amen Ra Squad founder, Ung. 
lying on me and falsely accusing me of making attacks towards his affiliate Frank Gehry, who is a co-founder of New York's House of Consciousness and its online platform Sonnetter TV. Yep. Unk, who was also in that lying documentary trapped in the culture, called me and everything for that woman. That guy is, ooh. He's also being attacked by Jonathan Owens as we speak. Sonnetter TV is notably a progenerate of individuals like Michael No KKA Brother Polite, Dr. Enki, Dr. Humor Johnson, Captain Tazari ACH of ISUPK, and as a result of the lies told to him by Ung, um, Sonnetter TV began to attack my blog talk platform. The attacks that began on Blog Talk Radio quickly morphed onto YouTube, and around 2015, I allied forced with Digital Pit Boss. Yes, I allied with this brother. He is a crook, high rule, Pacoma, blood. I just said crook a few seconds ago, my bad. No, he is a blood. And all YouTube has been joining with Bloods afterwards trying to be me. Digital Pit Boss of California, who had made his way to the city of Atlanta, was known for his ties to the Pacoama, California based Peru Bloods and for his later community work with the likes of the now deceased ex head of the new Black Panther Party, Hassam NGINGA. Hassam Nzinga. Maybe I spelled it right. Maybe I didn't. I never claimed to be able to spell. I would later be made aware that my then newfound ally, Digital Pit Boss, was also termed as a big homie to the now well known West Coast Peru Blood, WAC 100 Inches. WAC 100, formerly under Death Row Records co founder Such Marion Knight, would later show to have ties with. Amani, as Khalil Amani was a writer for the New York based magazine and publication Straight Stunton. Yes, Khalil Amani worked with DJ K Slate, who was a known child trafficker for the Zulu Nation. If you didn't know, now you shall know. <laughs> Go to the Ed Opperman Opp show and hear him say it. Khalil Amani informed us. The date that DJ K Slate and others used to go get them boys for ma'am to have sexual relations with. Straight Stunt in Magazine, founded by New York based Hot 97 radio personality Keith Grayson, aka DJ K Slay, was partners with WAC 100, who was listed as the West Coast arm of Straight Stunt in Magazine. As a result of my investigative work and info activism, many have attempted to slander the church and challenge my credibility as a man of God. I believe that it is imperative for future generations and individuals who may hear of this content to be informed that there is a counterintelligence operation online that operates in a system I call a conglomerate of YouTube content creators that reach to the levels of influential channels like Vlad TV, No Jumper Podcast, and many others. They're all over, people. They're all over. None of these podcasts or people will speak to me. But it's cool. I don't need to be on a podcast. As I continue to do what I believe to be God's work, the true Israel of God will remain a beacon of Israel doctrine and fight against the social injustice performed against those who want to claim and be baptized and nationalized into the nation of Israel. That's pretty much it, people. That's pretty much it. I thank you all for checking out the show. I am a YouTuber. YouTube channel is at I-S-R-A-E-L-D-O-C-T-R-I-N-E. Israel Doctrine. Please go subscribe. Pay attention to that channel. I will no longer be speaking on Khalil of Money on that channel, but I will be speaking on community issues as they come up on that channel. Peace out. Thank you for listening. <coughs>